I don't like to just say job. I like to say J-O-B as if it's a negative. How is a virtual expert career different from a job? So today we're going to, sh- I'm going to share with you some information to help you determine which path you prefer. And I want you to know there is no right or wrong. There is no judgment here. I am not trying to convince anyone to become a virtual expert versus have a job. In fact, many of the people that I train do both. They stay in their full-time or part-time job and work their virtual assistant or virtual expert business on the side. So you can do both or either and switch as you see fit. So again, no judgment. I just want you to know the difference because until you know the difference between these, then you can't make a choice. I'm Kathy Guggenauer. I am a former J-O-B holder. I worked for 20 years in corporate America and I worked at a Fortune 500 company. I really enjoyed my time there for about the first 10 years. Then it went downhill and it got to the point where my boss never promoted me. I wasn't getting big raises. I was getting very tiny raises and never getting promoted. And other people around me were getting promoted. So I went to him and asked, why am I not getting promoted? What do I need to do to get promoted? And he told me that I laughed and smiled too much. And until I changed that, I was never going to get promoted. So what did I do? Well, at first I was in shock. And I was like, seriously? I love being joyful. I love laughing every day. Do I really have to change that in order to be successful? And then I started doing research and I found that there was work outside corporate life. And I quit that J-O-B and started my virtual expert career. So what's the difference between the two? In a job, you are an employee and your boss tells you what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And he tell and he determines how much you're going to get paid. You really don't have a whole lot of wiggle room in that. As a virtual expert, you're self-employed. That means you're the boss. So you get to decide when you work, how you work, and how much you earn. So another difference is that In a job, a lot of people feel like there's a lot of security. And I would say back when I was first starting in the corporate world, there was a lot more security back then. People stayed in the same job. They retired from that job. They got good pensions. That rarely happens these days. There there aren't great pensions anymore. And very few people stay until their retirement age. So we still have that myth that a job is secure. But in reality, it's not. Versus a virtual expert business. When you know how to build a virtual expert business, how to get clients and keep clients, and you have multiple clients, that's true security. Because no matter what happens, you can always get more clients. And let me give you an example. When I had my virtual expert business, when I was earning about 75000 annually, I had 11 clients. I was working about 40 hours a week. I didn't have a team. When one client would go away for whatever reason, maybe they retired, maybe they decided to shut down their business, maybe they hired somebody else. I still had 10 clients and I knew how to get another one. So I would just go get another one and I was still earning money from those initial 10. So that to me is real security. So another way, a third way that a job is different from a virtual expert business is that at a job, you have a paid vacation, at least at many jobs, not all jobs have that, but many, especially full-time jobs have paid vacation, health insurance, and some type of 401k. Now your boss dictates how much vacation you get, or your company dictates how much vacation you get, how much you have to pay for health insurance, because most of them, you don't get it for free. You still have to pay some portion of it and how much they contribute, if anything, to the 401k. It's not under your control. As a virtual expert, you pay for your own health insurance. You create your own 401k. So yes, it's up to you to do that. 
but then you are in charge of it. Another way that a job and a virtual expert are different is that with a job, you have limitations based on what your boss determines are your limitations or what the corporation determines are your limitations. For example, my boss thought I was smiled and laughed too much, so that was my limitation. I was never gonna be promoted again simply because of that. It made no difference that I was smart, that I did a great job. He didn't like my personality. As a virtual expert, you are limitless. The only limit is determined by you. How many hours you wanna work, how much you wanna earn based on what you wanna do. You are in control of your own destiny. And finally, the way a job is different than a virtual expert is that you need a boss to tell you what to do and when to do it. And by that I mean, you need a boss to prod you so that you make progress, so that you get things done. Is that your personality? Do you have to have somebody telling you what to do? Or do you have self-initiative? Can you see something that you want and go for it and get it done? If you can do that, then you can be a virtual expert and own your own business. If that is not something that you enjoy doing, if you really prefer to have a boss to tell you what to do and when to do it, then becoming a virtual expert and owning your own business is not right for you. Again, no judgment. This is not for everyone. So what's your decision? Which way do you lean? Do you want to become your own boss and have a virtual expert business and be in charge of your own destiny? Or do you prefer to go the more traditional route where you have a job and a boss who tells you what to do? One of the things I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking about this is that you will spend 90,000 hours of your life working. And I want you to enjoy those hours. If you become like me, where I was disenchanted with the corporate world, and I was no longer fulfilled, in fact, I was miserable, counted down you know, the weekends, looked forward to nothing more than weekends, vacations, evenings. Sunday evening, I would cry because I had to go back to work the next day. That's not how I wanted to live my life. I didn't want to spend 90,000 hours of my life doing something that I didn't enjoy. So think about that. And if that's you, then contact me and let me know. I'm interested. Just let me know. I'm interested in checking this out to see if becoming a virtual expert is right for me. And I have a process for you to do that. You can apply, click the link below and apply for a free breakthrough section. The breakthrough session is going to help you determine if becoming a virtual expert is right for you. And the breakthrough specialist, who is a graduate of my virtual expert training program, will assess whether or not you are ready to become a virtual expert. If you have any other questions, post in the comments below. And I promise to respond. Thanks, everybody. Kathy Guggenauer signing out for the day. Bye.